Hey guys, this is Matimio, and today I'm here to bring you some Medal of Honor gameplay and commentary. And this video, at least in my opinion, in this game was a lot of fun. I go, I, th I go 34 and one. It was, it was pretty, pretty fantastic. I almost won a flawless game actually, but in the last 10 seconds of the game, the enemy kind of finds me and just takes me out, and I was just like, oh, that's, that's sad. But to be completely honest, it didn't really ruin my day. It was still an absolutely fantastic game and a lot of fun. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, but really the main thing that I want to talk about in this this uh, video is the defensive score chains or kill streaks, really whatever you want to call them, and how awesome they are. I use every single one. I get to the last one, which I'm not actually sure what it's called, but I, uh, I think it's, it's basically just a extended or an improved flak vest. At least that's a, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But yeah, so I get the last the last uh, score chain and I must say that when you have every single one of the defensive score chains up it is unbelievable how much you just completely tear through the enemy and how long you can actually last so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah so I am playing on sector control and I am using the assault class just the AK-47 and I must say if you actually want to get a lot of points go for the actual sectors and like or whatever the objectives are It gives you 30 uh, 20 points every time you actually cap one and here in a second or maybe later in the game I'll cap this point and then I will go off to kill someone else and then I will realize that someone actually came in and capped this one while I was just doing my own thing and then uh, I'll go back kill him and that's 10 points or 15 points whatever it is and then I'll actually take the sector or the objective back and it's another 20 points so it just the points really rack on when you actually play the objective and I can definitely contribute my score to just actually playing the objective and trying to be a team player because it really makes a huge difference like right there I was able to get the 20 points which is which is two kills and I was able to get the flak vest and if you guys have ever used flak vest you definitely know that it is a really really good uh, ability and right there I get a nice little uh, double kill with the spray. I thought there was only one, but I kept shooting and I got more hit markers. So I was like, not going to complain. And right here, like I said, this guy took the point while I wasn't looking. I got 15 points from him. I, I launch my score chain and then I take it back and get another 20 points. So really, it can add on very, very quickly. And I wasn't kidding how many points you get. And right now I get my FMJ, like it's or the armor piercing round. Sorry. So yeah, it, it really racks on really, really quickly and it makes getting to the final score chain extremely easy. Right now I only have to get 50 more points, so just five more kills or relatively five more kills. And as you can see, I'm not really pl camping. I'm, I'm moving around. I know I'm not moving swiftly because at least in my opinion, uh, especially with if you're not running and gunning with at least a shotgun, you're probably not going to be that success successful. Um, but I'm actually moving around the map. I'm trying to get to different objectives, trying to help my team out. Uh, I took one. I've taken I think three sectors uh, so far. So I'm 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 helping my team, and the enemy team t took this back while I wasn't looking. Um, my I think at the end of this game, my team uh, point wise was like. 100 one, 1300 points below me they really weren't doing a whole lot and that's that, that's kind of too bad I uh, this game really isn't meant to be a one-man army you're supposed to actually work with your teammates but for whatever reason they really did not want to get out of whatever position they were in I think a lot of them were camping so it was just kind of more free kills for, well, not really free kills for me but I was able to get a lot of kills with um, by just running around and playing the objective and then getting a lot of points because of it and um, Really, another thing, kind of just a general tip, you're really going to want to watch your your mini-map, because every time someone shoots, you can see, this is, I know this is basic, but every time someone shoots, you can actually see where uh, their bullets are coming from, and it just makes it, you know, huge when you're trying to actually attack something to know where the enemy is, and then make the appropriate flank. And right there, I was able to get the cruiser missile, or the, whatever the, that other one is there. I'm sure we'll find out in a moment. And I was actually kind of debating if I wanted to actually use the cruiser missile, or uh, the defensive score chain. Because I know everyone likes to see the cruiser missile, because it's, it's just awesome. But I figured since this game, and actually it took a while to actually decide. I was thinking this entire time, which one I should actually pick. And, uh, I know everyone likes to see the cruiser missile, because it's sweet. And I probably should have died here, but luck was on my side, and I didn't die. Uh, but I, but I kind of came to the conclusion that this map probably wasn't the best for it because 
Uh, it's a little bit more spread out. There's a lot of buildings in the way, so I don't really know how it works. I don't know if it actually goes through buildings or whatever. It probably doesn't. Uh, so I just kind of, I think in the next 30 seconds, I hope I use the, the last score chain. Uh, but reg regardless, I'm getting the two time score for just getting as many kill or the kills I'm getting right now. But yeah, I go over here and I, I think I use it. Please use it. It'd be pathetic if I don't. Uh, but yeah, I, as you guys can see, I am, I'm getting a lot of kills and all I've used is the defensive score chains and it's, it's been quite fruitful. Do I use it here? Yes, there we go. And it gives you 200 points. I was, I was kind of surprised. I forgot how many points you actually get from it. Uh, and to answer my question from earlier, it is called a ballistic vest and it is just an improved flak jacket. Uh, it's it's pretty nice. It definitely it's a definitely a noticeable difference. And right here, this guy completely fails, and I felt kind of bad for him, but also not really because I was kind of on a nice cool kill streak, and I would have been pretty sad if he was able to take me out. But even if he did get a couple of shots off of me, I don't really think it would have mattered because I I just I'm basically a super soldier right now. I have so much so much defense with my bullets do a lot of damage and it's just pretty awesome and hopefully this is kind of just giving you guys an indication of how powerful all of these defensive s score chains are and not only do they affect me but they infect my uh, or help my entire team uh, but probably that's not a big bonus because my entire team really isn't doing a whole lot and like I mentioned earlier uh, they really didn't contribute to the f or contribute basically to I mean they are contributing to the game but their points uh, scored, if that's any indication of how much they actually did throughout the game, really wasn't that high. I don't want to say they were bad, but I just don't think they were, I don't know, as productive. I don't, I don't know, I'm going to sound really vain with all this talk. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully you can tell that I'm doing a lot for my team just because I was be using the defensive score chains. And I don't know, I, I think they're great. I really enjoy them a lot more than the actual offensive ones just because they're more reliable and I just like to get kills with my weapon. And I, I, I don't know, I feel like it takes a little bit more skill. Uh, but this about wraps up the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've actually been really busy with the Next Gen Tactics Directors Contest, so I haven't really been able to make a lot of views for my own channel, but hopefully that will change here soon. Uh, there's only one more week of the actual contest, and right there, that guy, apparently, my bullets make people fly. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be trying to make more videos of Medal of Honor and Battlefield Bad Company 2 in the future, um, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me get this video and all of my other videos out to a wider audience. Um, but also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos. And I think here, coming up soon, is where I actually die but I still get a bunch of kills. This team, to be honest, it was kind of oblivious. They really weren't the best uh, enemies to be fighting. They, they made a lot of mistakes, but I'm really not going to complain because it made for some really fun gameplay. And right there is my, my unfortunate death, and it was the only one. And the, like literally 10 seconds later, the match ended. So it was, it was kind of depressing, but in all actuality, it was, it was still a fantastic game. So yeah, guys, have a good one, and take it easy.